In this video, I'll show you three of the easiest PowerPoint tricks that I have ever done. I'm using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365 as we'll be using the morph transition. But first I want to answer a very common question that I get asked all the time. Everyone always asks me what app I use to edit my videos and I don't like to gatekeep so I'll tell you. It's called Wondershare Demo Creator and I've been using it for a while to make all the screen recordings that I showcase in my videos. After installing it, you basically click on Video Recorder and then select your settings. It's a multi-track recording software which means that you can record your screen, microphone and your webcam at the same time as different tracks. I love that you can make all the edits within the software. Here you can trim sections of the video and add effects such as transitions, cursor highlights, annotations and more. They recently integrated a bunch of new AI features like auto subtitles, AI voice changer and denoiser and beauty filters. You can even add a 3D avatar that tracks all of your movements. So make sure to try out Wondershare Demo Creator for free and leave the link in the description box of this video. Okay, so for the first one, we're gonna start inserting an image. And I always get images from the stock image library in PowerPoint. And a very easy way to make the image fit in your slide is if you click on the drop down from crop, go to aspect ratio and select 16 by nine. And that way, when you make it larger, it's gonna fill up the whole area of the slide. Okay, amazing. So now we're gonna go to insert and select a table. We're gonna insert a seven by five table. So you just need to hover on the little squares over there and go down until you reach seven by five. And now we're gonna enlarge it and make it cover the whole area of the slide like this. Now let's click on table design and on shading, we're gonna get rid of the fill and on borders, we're gonna select no borders. Now you're gonna select a few cells like these ones right here, for example, and you're gonna go to shading and select the color white. Let's repeat the process with a few other cells. You can pretty much select as many as you like and just try to create a cool pattern or you could even pick a different color, but I like white because I think it looks very professional. And then you're gonna go to insert text box and on this area right here, you're gonna start adding your text. I'm using the font Beavis for the headline. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger and I'm gonna write the word leopard here. And for the description, I just use the font Aptos. This already looks great, so I'm just gonna repeat the process with a couple slides more. And then holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select all the slides but the first one, and you're gonna go to transitions, click on the drop down, and then select checkerboard. And just like that, in a few minutes, you're gonna have this amazing PowerPoint presentation. For the second one, we're gonna insert a picture into our slide and put it right here in the middle. And then we're gonna bring in another one and put it right here on the right. It doesn't matter if it goes outside of the slide. And just continue adding images as many times as you like. I got all of these images from onsplash.com. And if you zoom out, it should look something like this. And now right click on the slide, go to grids and guides and select a vertical guide. And then we're gonna select a circle from the shapes panel and we're gonna create an oval that we're gonna put right here at the top. Okay, perfect. So now we just need to make sure that it's aligned. So go to align and click on align to center. Holding control on your keyboard, you're gonna drag it down to the bottom like this. And then holding shift, you're gonna select both shapes and click no outline and change the color of the field to white. Duplicate the slide with control D and holding shift, you're gonna select all of the images and move them to the left. So the center of the second image is aligned to the guideline that we did earlier. And you're gonna repeat pretty much the same process with the rest of your images. So just duplicate the slide and move everything to the left. So the next image is aligned with the center of the slide. And now it's just time to start adding the text boxes for our slides. So just go to insert text box and here is where we're gonna write our headline. Let's also make sure that it's aligned to the center of the slide. And for this one, I'm gonna increase the font size and I'm gonna pick a font called Engravers MT. And in my case, I'm gonna add the name of the city from this image, which in this case is 
Tokyo. And we're going to repeat the process with the bottom text. So I'm just going to insert a text box and here I'm going to add a description. And once you're done adding all of the text to all of your slides, just hold shift on your keyboard and select all of the slides about the first one, go to transitions and click on morph. And that's how you make an awesome presentation like this one. Okay, so for the last one, we're going to insert an image, go to picture format, click on the drop down from crop and select a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This way, when we make it larger, it's going to take the whole space of the slide. I will quickly rearrange the image. So I'll just click on crop and move the image down slightly. And then we're going to insert a rectangle from the shapes panel and make it cover the whole area of the slide like this. Then let's click on shape outline and select no outline, go to shape fill and pick a color. In my case, I picked black and let's just move it to the right like this. Now let's go to insert, select the text box. And in this area is where we're going to write our text. For the headline, I'm using the font Vivas New and I'm just going to increase the font size using this icon right here and change the color to white so I can see exactly what I'm typing. And using text boxes, you're just going to write your headline, which in this case will be the name of the painting. And when you're done, you're going to hold shift on your keyboard and select the rectangle that we did and all of the text boxes. You're going to go to shape format, click on merge shapes and then click on combine. So now we have like a cutout of the text. I'm going to insert another text box for my body text. And I'm just going to put it right here on the right. And then we'll need to duplicate the slide with control D. And then let's click on the background image, go to picture format, click on crop. And I'm just going to make it slightly larger. And I will also move it a little bit down. Click on crop again and then holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select the mask that we did with the text box. And we're just going to move everything to the left like this. And lastly, you just need to apply the transition, our favorite transition, Morph. And there you go, guys. That's just three easy ways to upgrade your presentations. Please like this video and leave a comment. It helps my channel a lot. You can get all of these slides from my website. The link is in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you on my next video.